Mythbuster. High cholesterol causes heart disease. How many people thought that when they walked in? Be honest. Everybody here, because that's all we know about, right? That's all we've ever been taught. Who taught you? Your medical doctor. Who taught them? The people that supply the drugs that lower cholesterol. Okay? What is high cholesterol? Or what is cholesterol? A soft, waxy substance that is made by the liver. It travels in the blood in two compounds, low-density lipoproteins called LDLs and high-density lipoproteins. We've all heard about the LDLs and the HDLs, okay, and you have to have this certain ratio. Cholesterol is needed to, to manufacture hormones, bile acid, and vitamin D synthesis. Very important. Now, we've, all, we've always thought of cholesterol as this bad thing in our body. Well, God made it for a reason. It's there. It, it controls your nervous system. It's in every single cell of our body. And when it affects all of these major things, what do you think it does when we lower it? It does bad things to your body. You cannot make estrogen, testosterone, cortisone, and a host of other vital hormones without cholesterol. HDL is known as the good cholesterol because it it, it removes and helps clean up the arteries. It moves through the arteries fast. The LDL kind of goes through and picks up all the debris that's left over and it kind of is a slow moving cholesterol. So they call it the bad cholesterol because that's the one that plaques. Okay? And it plaques not because it's moving slower because your cholesterol is so high. Laura, can you go to the next one? Myth busters. Okay guys, this is where the truth really comes out about cholesterol and what we see. High cholesterol causes heart disease, myth buster, truth. It is the oxidation of cholesterol that causes heart disease. When that cholesterol gets stuck in there and it oxidizes, that's when the arteries start to clog and start to plug up and form all that plaque in there. Truth, more people have heart attacks with normal cholesterol than elevated cholesterol. Ooh, wow, that's not what we've always been taught by the $9 billion industry that gets paid from telling us these things. There is a higher death rate with low cholesterol than high. Statin drugs, cholesterol drugs, lower cholesterol, but not the mortality rate of heart attacks and stroke. Okay? They, will, they do a great job of lowering your cholesterol, but it doesn't mean it lowers your chance of death. So these are things that we must know. All these statistics come from the, the New England Journal of Medicine. Dangers of cholesterol medication, liver damage. If you're on a cholesterol medication right now, what do you have to do? You have to go get tested every three to six months to make sure your liver enzymes are functioning properly. Because if not, they take you off the drug because it's going to kill you because of the liver damage. Neuropathy. These drugs cause peripheral neuropathies in 17% of their patients, meaning numbness in their hands and numbness in their feet. Research followed 114 patients with heart problems who began taking cholesterol-lowering drugs. They found that every point of decrease of the serum cholesterol, there was a 36% increase in the risk of death. The true cause of heart disease. And guys, when, when you guys leave here tonight, I want you to go and hop on Google and you just type in every just type in side effects of statin drugs and do the research. Because when you do the own research, you get involved. When you get involved, you're proactive about your own health care. When you're proactive, you're healthy. It'll allow you to do the action steps that are needed to be aggressive on your own end. Because I can tell you all I all I can, if you don't follow through with it, there's, we're not going to change anything. So inflammation. When you damage anything in the body, it starts an inflammatory process to heal that area. We talked about that ankle that swells, that cut that swells. That's how the body repairs and heals. When damage occurs to the lining of the arteries or anywhere else, chemicals are released to initiate the process of inflammation. Arteries constrict, blood becomes more prone to clot, white blood cells are called to, to heal the area, they gobble up the damaged debris and cells adjacent to those damaged cells are told to multiply. Ultimately, scars form, however, inside the arteries, we call it plaque. And the constriction of our arteries and the thickening of our blood further predisposes us to high blood pressure and heart attacks. That's just a natural process we have. Okay, what causes inflammation? Number one is sugar. How many of us always thought it was those trans fatty acids from the french fries? We always thought that's what we've been taught, right? Well. We're going to teach you by the end of this that fat is good. You just have to, it has to be the right fat. Sugar is the worst thing for you. So when you go grab that candy bar, it's the absolute worst thing you can have. Giving your kids sugar, you literally are
you are creating plaque in their artery because it is the number one cause of heart disease, the number one cause of cancer, it's the number one cause of disease. Because if you put four tablespoons of sugar in your body at once, you literally can die because your body becomes toxic. And what has to happen? You have to intake a lot of water to flush it out or you die. Amazing, isn't it? And if we, we're going to talk about sodas here in a minute, and that just blows my mind on, on sodas. Ratio of essential fatty acids, okay? I said fatty, all right? Goes against everything we've ever been taught. We're going to get into that here in a minute. They have to be four to one. Acidity. If your body's acidic, you will never be able to heal. You will always create, keep creating more disease no matter what you do. And we're going to talk about that in a minute. It goes from a scale of 1 to 14, just like a farmer when they go to their, their land, they have to have the right pH in that ground for the crop to grow. Your body has to be that way too, and we'll teach you how to get you more acidic. Free radicals. Laura? Sugar. The key to preventing heart disease, the brain-body connection, and this is where we specialize in as chiropractors. If your brain cannot send the signal down that spinal cord out to that heart, it will never function properly. If you guys look at this chart right here, this amazing brain that God made sends signals down that spinal cord, from the spinal cord out to every organ, every tissue, and every cell. If we have pressure on the nerves that go to your heart, you're never going to have a heart that functions properly. It's simple. It's your master control system. So the first thing that we always recommend is have a clear brain nervous system because when that happens, your body can heal study that showed chiropractic cervical adjustment reduced systolic blood pressure by 14 points and diastolic blood pressure by 8 points in 8 weeks. Journal of Human Hypertension. They did the study over and over and over again because they thought it was wrong. Because chiropractic has been telling medicine that, that, that we can do this for time and time again. So what did they do? They, they did the study and it came out this way so they had more people. They did the study and it came out this way and they had more people. And finally they said, hey, this is how it is.